All right, YouTube. Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go over special effects in Voice Meter Potato. That's right, Voice Meter Potato. Looks like Voice Meter has put out a new version. Doesn't look like it. They have. They've put out a new version of their software product, and they've called it Potato. And just real quick, basically what you get is you get two extra input channels. So you'll see those here. I've got mine labeled iPad and Jingle Palette. Um, so it's two extra hardware inputs. And then you'll notice um, under the virtual inputs, you get an extra channel. So instead of two, now you have three virtual inputs. Even though I've got a virtual audio cable, I'm capturing it here. I just like to capture it underneath these hardware strips uh, because you can do a little bit more. And uh, But... You know, that's neither here than there. I mean, I, 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 I get distracted. So um, so there's the extra channel there. And then what we're talking about today is it has some special effects added into Voice Meter Potato. So you have reverb and delay. So today what we're going to talk about is adding the reverb effect to my voice and what you have to do. So as you can see here, my microphone is being captured on A1 or channel 1 right here. And you can see the meters bounce up and down as I talk. So yes, it is capturing my voice on channel A1. And that's where I want to add the reverb effect. So the first thing I have to do is I have to go right here. And you can see on this channel, you'll see these two little round pots. Basically, under special effects, the left one says reverb. The right one says delay. So since we're working with reverb, we're going to use this one right here. So I'm going to basically push that up or pot that up all the way to 10. So that's the first thing I got to do is, okay, I've basically turned up the reverb on that input. Uh, you have to play around with this. You can probably bring it down to five. It's just how intense that reverb is going to be or how loud it is, I guess, on that input. But I'm going to go ahead and pump it up to 10. Now, you'd think you'd be done, but you're not. What you got to do now is on the output, you have to go select um, the reverb and basically turn that up, pot it up. And I am outputting to B1 and B2, as you can see right here. You can see the meters right there um, bouncing up and down. Uh, I'm capturing the audio for this video on B1. So what I want to do is I want to go up here and under effects right here, you'll see the R, that's reverb. So that's the top pot basically. And I need to turn that up as well for the output. Uh, so we'll do that. Just kind of, there we go. Turn it up all the way up. Now, still shouldn't have any reverb because actually if you go up here, the effect has not really been turned on. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to left click on it and you will now notice that the reverb has been turned on. So there is now a reverb in my voice. Uh, but if you right click on that reverb button, what it'll do is it'll basically bring up uh, you know, a nice little interface for reverb, reverb. And there's some presets or you can make your own. So this is like church. Uh, here's stadium short. Uh, we'll do club medium so you can hear some of the differences. Um, I don't know what special is. Special medium. Uh, hopefully you can hear the differences on that. But So now what we've enabled is we've enabled channel 1 to add that reverb to our output. Um, and you should be getting a pretty good reverb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of that and I'm going to shut off that reverb effect. So we should be back to normal. So that's basically how you enable the reverb effect on uh, my voice and you can also do that on any channel so if you had another microphone or you wanted to add the reverb to some music or something that you were inputting let's say from Jingle Palette which I have coming in on a virtual audio cable on channel 5 and I basically do the same thing I would find the special effects reverb and turn that up and anything I played through there being captured on B1 would have the reverb effect so hope that makes sense all right Take care.